Oscar winner Sir Ben Kingsley has acted in dozens of critically acclaimed, critically, critically acclaimed movies over his more than 50-year career. Kingsley is known for his unforgettable roles in movies like Gandhi, Schindler's List, and House of Sand and Fog. I remember that. Now he's starring in the historical thriller Operation Finale. It's based on the real-life Israeli mission to capture Adolf Eichmann, one of Nazis' chief architects of the Holocaust. Kingsley portrays Eichmann, who has been hiding in Argentina with his family under an alias after World War II. We have our guy. Adolf Eichmann. The architect of the final solution? We should be putting him down like a mad dog. I would happily put a bullet in between his eyes, but that's not what we're doing here. Strictly catch and extract. Eichmann will stand trial here in Israel. My job was simple. Save the country I love from being destroyed. Whom did we take from you, Peter? Whom did you? The man in this picture is you. SS number 45381. Am I correct? Again, your number was 45381. Your number was 45381. 45381. 45381. It was 45326. Enough, I accept my fate. My name is Adolf Eichmann. Sir Ben Kingsley joins us now at the table. Good morning to you. That Good was morning. that was such a very crucial scene in the movie. And the thing that got to me about this movie, Ben, is that he's such a despicable character in history. Yet we saw the humanity of his man of this man with his family, with his dog, with his wife, and it was hard for me to reconcile the two. Well, I, I think that you've hit on one of the many tensions that run through the film. And I'm, I'm delighted that that's your dilemma, because that's the dilemma that we want to awaken in the audience. I think if we fictionalize the man as a monster baddie, yes. quote unquote, then we relegate that horrendous portion of history to fiction, and it's either easier to forget, digest, or dismiss. Mm -hmm. But when we, when we insist on the audience to accept these these men and women as men and women, yeah. then it, it makes that period of history much harder to deal with, but we must, must confront it and deal with it. Yeah. Eichmann was one of us. And it's not your first film based on the Holocaust. Obviously, Gail had mentioned not. Schindler's List. You had Murderers Among Us before yes. that, where you played and, Simon Wiesenthal. And Otto Frank, and, Anne's father. Right. Yeah. Yes. And, and I'm interested in knowing about the preparation that went into this role as a Nazi. You played Holocaust survivors mm -hmm. before. You played Jews before, obviously. Mm -hmm. What went into this role in preparing for it? I can answer very simply, because I know we don't have a lot of time, uh, but meeting Simon Wiesenthal, playing Otto Frank, playing Isaac Stern, and meeting so many survivors on Schindler's List and other survivors too. Meet Gies, for example, who hid Anne Frank's family in her attic, which is, uh, she was a wonderful woman, died at 102. Uh, and interlaced with this, I also had the privilege of meeting Elie Wiesel, mm. uh, the, 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 the great prophet and poet of, and witness of the Holocaust and survivor. And when I was last with Elie, I did have the opportunity to tell him to his face that the next time I walk onto a film set that's relevant to your story, I will dedicate my performance to you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, really, I did not immerse myself in Nazism or German nationalism. I immersed myself in the memory of Elie Wiesel. Wow. And every day, I said to myself, and to a photograph of him I had in my pocket, Elie, I'm doing this for you. What and that was my engine, him. that was my fuel. Wow. Why? I didn't take it from Nazism, I took it from Elie. What a tribute to him. And why connect those two things with what you said earlier, which is that Eichmann is one of us? Mm -hmm. Why is that so important to keeping the memory of the Holocaust survivors alive? And because I think if, if we dismiss them uh, in, in a sort of capsule, an aberration of history, saying, well, they weren't really human, so they don't count, then we're really letting history off the hook and we're, we're in grave danger of allowing it to happen again. And uh, I, I know that uh, Eli, last time I heard him speak, he actually said uh, that in his prayers to God, I think he actually had conversations with God, um, after the Holocaust, he said, what more do you want? In the light of anti-Semitism, in the light of um, extreme Islam, uh, in the light of everything that's threatening 
the Jewish diaspora, um, he was saying, what other sacrifice do you want to stop this? Is six million not enough? Apparently not, which what is a, tragic. What a, what a blessing to his memory. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, such a moving film. Thank you so much. Beautiful performance yes. from you, yeah. Sir Ben. Thank, Thank you, you, Sir Ben Kingsley. We appreciate it. Operation Finale is in theaters August 29th.